Very interesting news coming out of the Church of England as they have said that they are now going to be recognizing transgender marriages. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, what does that really all mean, recognizing transgender marriages? Well, a question came up during one of their meetings about how, what do we do when we had a couple that was, you know, male and female, you know, obviously they were, you know, married the proper way, biblical marriage, you know, male and female, but then one of them decides that they want to trans transition to, you know, the opposite sex. Should we still recognize that as a marriage or not? Let's just say the husband wants to, you know, transition to a woman or the woman wants to transition over to a man. They have said that they will still recognize that marriage, even despite the fact that they're willing to either go through the surgery changes or just simply identify as the opposite sex. That is now going to be okay in the Church of England. Now, no, nothing was said about as far as let's sit this couple down and, you know, give them some counseling because this is just plain wrong. No, that wasn't said whatsoever. I mean, if the church is doing their job and they're teaching about that and you have married couples in the church, I mean, there really should be no reason for one of them to turn the other way. But the problem that we're seeing in a lot of these churches is that they're preaching the acceptance of this now. They're saying this is now okay. This is no longer wrong because Jesus loves everybody. And Jesus just says you can just do whatever you want to do because it's all love, 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 love. It's a complete false lie, okay? That is absolutely ridiculous. I do not agree on the Church of England's position here recognizing transgender marriages if one of the members, you know, husband or wife decides to make the transition. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? As we continue to move forward here, we are in the last days. I would not be surprised if the Church of England, and not just them, but many others as well, continue to make more controversial decisions that are just going to basically contribute to the great falling away that the Bible speaks about that's going to happen before the return of Christ. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the decision made by the Church of England? Let me know. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.